Hey guys, how are you? Good evening, welcome to English Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona, as always, and uh, we're going to start our class today. How are you guys? Como están? Antonio and Jairo. Very, very nice. Very good. Uh, sure. All right. When the, if you want to answer that question, si tú quieres contestar esa pregunta, y estás bien, puedes decir, puedes decir all good. All good. I'm going to type all it right. like Hey, how are you? All good. You can also say good. doing good. So all say with me, all good. All good. Doing good. All good. Doing good. Mm -hmm. doing good. Everything, everything's okay. Everything's okay. okay. Everything's okay. Everything's okay. All right, very good. So these are a couple of things. Today, guys, we have a lot of things to do, so let's get started. And let's try to do it as of right now. Vamos a hacerlo a las ya. So please go ahead and read with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary. By the end, By the end of this class, class, you will learn, you will learn vocabulary. vocabulary. For talking about things people hate to do. For talking about things people had to do. Hate? Hate to do. To do. Correct. All right. So read it. Hola. Can you hear me, guys? Say, yeah. All right, go ahead and read, please. Leanlo conmigo. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do. By the end of this By class, end of this class, you will learn vocabulary, you will learn vocabulary for talking um, about things people hate to do. Very good. So, al finalizar esta clase, aprenderán vocabulario para hablar sobre las cosas que la sobre las cosas que las personas odian hacer. Okay? okay. So, go okay. ahead and mute your microphones and uh, I'm going to share this with you right now. Okay? Okay. There you go. Hi, Edith. Mirko. Good to see you. Vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, Work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. All right, very good, guys. So, if you are, if you are able to understand, si ustedes pudieron entender, how do you say odiar? Anybody? Hate, hate. Correct. So these are the things. Okay. Estas son las cosas que la gente odia hacer. That people hate to do. So say with me, please. Stand in line. Stand in line. 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 Exactly. Stand in line. Everybody, stand in line. Stand in, stand line. in line. Stand in line. Good. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Do laundry. Do 
Do laundry. Do the laundry. Mm -hmm. Is for you to, to wash your clothes. Mm, in the washing machine. Exactly, in the washing machine. Well, in the wa washer machine. Washer. Washer machine. Mm -hmm. La lavadora, the washer machine. Also, travel to work. Travel, travel to, to work. work. How do you say viajar al trabajo? Travel to work. Travel to work. Travel to work. Travel travel to work. work. Go to meetings. 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 Very good. How do you say ir a reuniones? Got a meeting. Very good. Good ending sounds. I like it. Exageremos los sonidos finales, guys, hasta que los podamos dominar. Good job. Exercise. 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 What is the meaning of exercise? Ejercicio. Ejercitarse. Ejercitarse. Very good. Hacer ejercicio will be do exercise. All right. Next one. Work in the yard. Work, work in the yard. Work in the yard. Work in the yard. Work in, in the, the yard. yard. Very good. What is the meaning of work in the yard? Hmm. Trabajar en el patio. Uh -huh. Trabajar en el patio. Hacer trabajo, desyerbar, sembrar, limpiar, etc. Next one, clean the house. 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 Uh -huh. How do you say limpiar la casa? Clean the house. Clean the house. Open the mail. Open the Open mail. Open the mail. Open the mail. All right, very good. So guys, estas son cosas, these are things que la mayoría de la gente odia hacer, that most people hate doing or hate to do. Okay? So now, tell me things that you hate doing. I hate woke up early. Waking up early. Waking up early. Well, let's go ahead and I hate to wake up early. How do you say detesto despertarme temprano? I, I hate to wake up early. early. Me too. I hate to wake up early. Me too. Very good. I hate to do the dishes. How do you say lavar los platos? Do the, do the dishes. dishes. I hate to do the dishes. I hate to do the dishes. Say with me. I hate to do the dishes. I hate I to do hate the dishes. The I hate to do the dishes. Good, good, good. What else do you hate, guys? Do you hate to stand in line? Yes. No. Okay, I have a yes, I have a no. Do you hate no. to do the laundry? Yes. No. Uh, no. Yes. Yes, yes. But I have to. But you have no. to, exactly. Okay, I just have to tell you, I love my washer machine. I love it. With all my <laughs> Next one. Do you hate traveling to work? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Anonymous decision. decision one. <laughs> Next one. Oh, if you notice, guys, si ustedes se dan cuenta, estoy ocupando hate. Por ejemplo, hate traveling o hate to travel. Esto porque el verbo hate, el verbo odiar y amar, se puede ocupar de las dos maneras. ¿Okay? Pero para motivos de esta clase, vamos a ocupar nada más el to. Si yo lo digo con ing, está bien, pero nos vamos a enfocar en el to. ¿okay? Um, this is what I want to do, guys. I'm going to open the break rooms for three minutes. Okay? And I need you to tell the things that you hate to do. Si odian alguna de estas cosas... Díganselo a sus compañeros y por qué. All right. Y si no hay una que está aquí, agreguemos. All right. Very good. Go ahead and accept the invite because then we go to simple past, guys. We're going to work with simple past today. Vamos a trabajar con pasado simple. So, three minutes. Go ahead and accept the invite, please. Go ahead and accept the invite. It's already sent. Ya se la mandé. All right. There we go. Oscar. Hola. Accept the invite, please. ¿Le llegó la invitación? No me aparece. Right. No, no me aparece. What about now? ¿Y ahora?
What about now? I sent it again. Ya la mandé otra vez. All right, very good. Y ahora, Oscar, ¿le parece la invitación? Ya se había unido. Eh, me salí, no sé qué hice. ¿Y ya no la ve? No, ahorita ya no. ¿Y ahora? Ahorita. All right. Let's go ahead and, and accept it, please. There we go. We're getting more people logged in. Marta, hello. Good evening. I sent you an invite so you can join a group. Le mandé una invitación. Thank you. All right, guys. Other, other Hi, hate. teacher. I want to hear what you hate. Okay. Uh, I was talking with Edith that I hate take the bus to my work. So you hate to travel to work by bus? Yes. Why? Um, uh, it's stressful going on, on, on the bus in, in this position <laughs> yes. with a lot of people. Okay, very good, very good, fantastic. Uh -huh. And the rest, Oscar, Antonio, eat it. <laughs> I hate uh, I hate to work. No, I hate to <laughs> drive. <laughs> drive. Oh, okay. Very good. For my work in the morning. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of traffic. How do you say yes. in the traffic? There's a lot of traffic. A lot of traffic. There. There's. There. There. Uh -huh. I'm going to write it down. There's. There is. There's. There is. A lot of traffic. A lot of traffic. Okay. So say with me, it. I hate to drive to work. I hate to drive to work. Okay. Very good. I hate to drive to work. Fantastic. Well, not fantastic because you hate it, but good example. Uh, Oscar? <sighs> Sorry, entre tarde y no, no sé qué están. Ok, don't worry, don't worry, no te preocupes. Estamos hablando de las cosas que no nos gustan, que detestamos hacer. Y empezamos con I hate to y el verbo de lo que tú detestas hacer. Ay. El tráfico, no sé cómo se... I hate to... Ajá. Traffic. Depends. Eh, manejando, en bus, en la moto. How? Manejando. Ok. Manejando. I have to drive, drive traffic. In traffic. Wait. Wait. In traffic. I have to drive in traffic. There you go. Fantastic. Good, good, good. Antonio? Are you still there? Tony? Alrighty, guys. So I think that I think that at least this is actually covered. Creo que esto está cubierto. Solo es cuestión de vocabulario. Let's go back. Yes. To the room. Okay. All right. We're bringing everybody back. Alrighty, so guys, um, how do you say, how do you say the testo, well, that's another expression, the testo escuchar a los perros ladrar. I, I hate to listen, to listen the dogs, dogs, uh -huh. I hate to listen dogs 
Shower. No. No. Bark. <laughs> bark. Bark is the verb. Ladrar. Bark. So we have it in our. Ah, okay. I uh -huh. hate to listen dogs barking. Say it with me. I hate to listen dogs barking. I hate to listen dog, to dogs to barking. barking. Okay. All right. Very good. So guys, esta es una buena es una buena oportunidad para que nosotros sepamos cómo decir cuando de verdad no nos gusta algo. ¿Okay? Y vean, I hate to y el verbo. I hate to drive to work, I hate to drive in traffic, I hate to take a shower. No, no, no that one. <laughs> <laughs> ya lo dijo. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, no viene con la clase, guys, pero si vamos con lo negativo, if we go to the negative, vamos a ir con lo positivo también. We're going to go to the positive. Lo opuesto sería, I love to, ahora díganme cosas que les gusten hacer, que de verdad les adoren. I love to. I love to. Sleep. I love to sleep. Very good. Me too. <laughs> For examples, I love what? I love to. I love to play soccer with my son. There you go. Fantastic example. I love to play soccer with my son. Another one. I love to swim. I love to swim. To swim. Very complete exercise. Another one. I love to spend time with my family. There you go. I love to spend time with... I love to eat uh, Chinese food. There you go. I love to eat Chinese food. Okay, what else? I know right. to study English. Okay, very good. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> no, I believe it. <laughs> With Alejandro. <laughs> ah, there you go. I believe it. <laughs> okay, very good, guys. So, ahora ustedes ya pueden decir las cosas que aman hacer y las cosas que detestan, que odian hacer. All right? Digo detestar porque no me gusta la palabra odiar, pero there we go. Okay. So now, guys, okay. we have a lot to do. Tenemos bastante que hacer. Let me share with you. Porque vamos a más información, okay? So say it with me, please. By the end of this class, by the end of, by the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements. You will, you will learn, learn how to form positive and negative statements statement. in the simple past, in in the simple the simple past, past using regular verbs. Using, using regular, regular verbs. verbs. Very good. Additionally, additionally, additionally you will practice a conversation. You will practice, practice a conversation. A conversation. Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Which, is which illustrated how this topic oh, this is, is used in a real life sitting. Real life sitting. Very good. So guys, al finalizar esta clase ustedes aprenderán a formular oraciones positivas y negativas en pasado simple usando verbos regulares. Cabe mencionar, it is good to mention, que tenemos dos tipos de verbos. We have two types of verbs. Regulars, que son los regulares, ya lo vamos a ver, solo le agregamos ed al final. And the irregulars that they change or they remain the same. Los irregulares no tienen ese patrón del ED, por eso van cambiando. ¿Ok? Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. So, I need a volunteer. Necesito una persona valiente que me quiera leer todo este párrafo en inglés. Just one. Yo, yo, yo. Let me see who's yo. Oh, Jennifer. Ok, very good. Yes. Go ahead, girl. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. 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 Good job, fantastic. Round of applause to you. Good job, well done, well done. All right, guys. So, as you can see, Jennifer is very good reading. Okay. 
tratemos todos de hacer lo mejor que podamos para leer bien. All right? Les comento que si algún día quieren trabajar en un call center o en alguna empresa que se necesite el inglés, el primer filtro puede ser que los pongan a leer algo. A ustedes les dan una página, por favor lee esto. Le mandan ese audio a la persona encargada y solo con eso ya les pueden decir continúe el proceso o venga en tres meses que pueda hablar inglés. La lectura, guys, es súper importante. Tratemos siempre de, le de buscar eh, audiobooks, libros con audio. Escuchamos, pausamos, repetimos. Eso nos va a ayudar a vocabulario, pronunciación, absolutamente todo. All right. Now, let's go to Simple Pass. And please mute your microphones. Mute your microphones. <coughs> Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let all right, guys. You know the drill. Remember, you know the drill is that you know what to do. Let's go ahead and repeat after me, please. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Hi Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Did you, Did you have, have a good, good weekend? weekend? Uh, Very good, uh, guys. Traten de copiar absolutamente todo. Try to copy everything. Because here we have intonation, entonación. Again, hi, Jennifer. Hi, hi Jennifer. Jennifer. Uh, you have a good weekend. You Did you have a good weekend? weekend? So, how do you say hola, Jennifer? Hi, Hi Jennifer. Jennifer. ¿Tuviste un buen fin de semana? You have a good weekend? Good weekend. Very good. How do you say tuviste un buen lunes? Did you have a good have a Monday. Monday? Monday. Good. ¿Tuviste un buen año? Did you have a good year? Good year. Very good. Very good. ¿Tuviste un buen día? Did you have a good day? ¿Tuviste una buena semana? Did you have a good week? week? Weekend. Very good. Did you have a good week? Weekend is fin de semana. Okay. Well, I had a busy weekend. Well, I had a busy weekend. And I feel a little tired today. And I feel a little tired today. Very good. So, how do you say, bueno, tuve una semana ocupada. Well, I, I have, have a busy week. Busy week. Uh, busy week. <laughs> Perdón, un fin de semana ocupado. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> how do you say, bueno, tuve un día ocupado. Well, I have a busy day. Busy day. Busy, 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 busy day. day, very good. Busy. Bueno, tuve una, una mañana ocupada. Well, I have a busy morning. Very good. Esto sería más, más o menos para mañana en la noche, que es 14 de febrero, pero bueno, tuve una noche ocupada. <laughs> well, I have a busy, busy night. night. Busy night, correct. Busy you night. see, guys, qué tan fácil es hablar inglés cuando empezamos a encontrar los patrones. And I, and I feel a little tired today. Y me siento un poco cansado ahora. And I you feel know, a little tired, tired, tired today. Tired, tired today. Tired. 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 Here, guys, um, remember, pronunciation of ending sounds, la pronunciación de los sonidos finales, it is very, very important. Say it with me. Tired. 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 Exactly. At the end, say David. D. David. David. Say it with me. David. 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 Very good. 
dejemos la lengua pegada en la última D de David. Dejemos la pegada solo para que sepamos que tiene que quedar la lengua. Démosle conmigo. David. David. Sumin. Here. David. 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 Exactly. So, that's the position that we have to look for. Ahora, si nosotros decimos tire, es llanta. Lo dejamos abierto. Look again. Tire. Tire. Look at the screen. Miren la, miren la pantalla. Cansado. Tired. 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 Very good. Tired. Hago énfasis en esto, guys, porque para los verbos regulares en pasado necesitamos mucho esa D de David. La última D de David la vamos a ocupar en muchas ocasiones. All right. Let's continue. Really? Why? Really? Why? Why? ¿En serio? Why? ¿Por qué? Really? Why? How do you say en serio? Why? Really? 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 ¿Por qué? Why? Why? Good job. Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Well, on Bueno, el sábado me ejercité en la mañana. Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Then my roommate and I cleaned. Then I cleaned. Good. Here, guys, si ustedes se fijan, no suelto los sonidos. I don't release the, sound, the, the sounds. Then, my roommate and I. Va unido. My roommate and I. My roommate and I. Then, my roommate and I. Ah, everybody. Then, my roommate and I. Then, my roommate and I. Good, good, good. No lo suelten. Then, my roommate and I. Cleaned. Cleaned. Did laundry. Did laundry. And shopped. And shopped. Ajá, esta termina como con T. Ya les voy a explicar por qué. Shopped. Shopped. And then I visited my parents. And then I visited my parents. Very good. Esta termina, guys, con it. Visited. Visited my parents. Visited my parents. Very good. So, bueno, el sábado me ejercité en la mañana. Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. I exercised in the morning. Very good. Luego, mi compañero de habitación o de apartamento. Then my room and I. Mi compañero y yo. My room and, room and I. Limpiamos. Cleaned. Lavamos la ropa. Did laundry. Y compramos. Shopping. 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 Chopped. Mm, good, 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 good. In this one, guys, vamos a hacer una diferencia entre la CH, que es un sonido como cuando vamos al centro, ch, 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 y la SH, que es un sonido de guardar silencio, ¿ok? Démosle conmigo. Shop. 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 Ajá. Shop. 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 Very good, very good. So, and then I visited my parents. And then I visited my parents. Luego visité a mis padres. Then I visited my parents. How do you say, how do you say padres o papá? Parents. Parents. Solo papá? 
father, father. Mom. mamá, mom. papás, mom. o padres, parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? Entonces, ¿qué hiciste el domingo? So, what did you do on Sunday? Very good. How do you say, ¿qué hiciste el lunes? What did you do on Monday? Very good. ¿Qué hiciste el martes? What did you do on Thursday? Thursday. On Tuesday. Thursday. Thursday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Estudié, estudié, estudié para el examen todo el día. I study for the test all day. All day. Estudié para el examen toda la mañana. I study for the test all morning. Good. Estudié para el examen toda la noche. Oh no, tenemos examen hoy. No estudié. I didn't. Say it with me. I didn't, I didn't study. I didn't, I didn't study. No dormí. I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep. Very good. No comí. I didn't eat. No, no me bañé. I didn't shower. I didn't take a shower. I didn't take a shower. Very good. I just watched television all weekend. I, I just watch television all weekend. What do you say? Solo vi televisión todo el fin de semana? I just watch television all weekend. Very good. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Solo dormí todo el fin de semana? I just sleep all weekend. Very good. The past of sleep, guys, is slept. 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 Uh -huh. slept. All right, let's continue with the, with the video, please. <clears throat> I studied on Sunday. I, studied on I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E X E R C I S E D. Study. Studied. S T U D I E D. Stay. Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense. And we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. 
In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself family, friends, and co-workers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Alrighty guys, so the video is a little bit long. El video is un poquito largo, but it is uh, self-explanatory, okay? Now, what do you think is the structure for the affirmative tense? ¿Cuál creen que es la estructura para el affirmative? Mm -hmm. Say it with me, please. Case, I started. It would be. Uh huh. Hmm. What is I, you, she, we, and they? The subject uh -huh. plus verb. What kind of verb? Verb in the. Look at the end of the verb. Um, is this in past or in the base form? No, in the past. Yep, verb in past plus. Complement. Plus complement. Guys, ¿se parece esto a la estructura de presente simple? Yes. Es exactamente lo mismo. Lo único que cambia es que el verbo va en pasado. All right. Now, um, guys, it is so easy as typing online regular verbs. That's it. Regular verbs, and you're going to get a list of verbs. Solo pongan regular verbs, y ustedes van a tener una lista de verbos regulares. Okay? Um, obviously, there are millions of verbs, y no los vamos a ocupar todos. 
All right, look. Toss the montong, guys. All of this bunch of verbs are regular verbs. So, es más fácil aprenderse los irregulares. So, pueden poner verbos regulares más utilizados en inglés. All right. So, let's use with 50, not 200, because you you have we have a lot of verbs. Okay. Es difícil esto, guys. Memory. You have to memorize them. How do you say aceptar? Aceptar. Uh -huh. Accept. 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 Good. In the past tense? Accept. Accepted. Accepted. Accept. Very good. Vamos a ver la pronunciación. Esto cambia la pronunciación dependiendo de ciertas cositas. But don't worry about it. Lo vamos a ver más adelante. ¿Cuál es el, how do you say responder? Answer. Answer. Answer, correct. Responder is answer. What is the past of answer? Answer. Very good. So, guys, esta lista que se las pongo son nada más 50 para que ustedes tengan una idea si quieren hablar. All right? So, let's get it back here. Oops, that's another class. Sorry. All right, so how do you say, guys, yo estudié inglés? I studied English. I studied English. English. Very good. How do you say, yo comí popo? Uh, no, 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 never mind. That's irregular. Um, let's work with the group. How do you say, yo ayudé a mi hermano? I helped my friends. A mi hermano. I helped my brother. My brother. Very good. Yo maté el gusano. I killed the, I killed the, killer. Killer. the gut. The worm. How do you say gusano? Uh, worm. 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 All right. Now let's go ahead and change the subject. Give me a subject, please. Cualquier sujeto. All right, Américo, que es el que está abajo. Américo, ¿escuchó música? Uh, Américo, listened. Listen. 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 Listen to. Listen to. Esto, guys, escuchar música siempre va con el to. Son como uña y mugre, no se separan, ¿ok? Ahora dice escuchar música. Listen. Listen. To, music. to music. Siempre con el to. Very good. Uh, so, how do you say Jennifer saltó la cuerda? Jennifer, Jennifer jumped, 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 jumped to the rope. La cuerda, the rope. The rope. The rope. Very good. Jumped. How do you say Edith pintó su casa? Edith painted the house. Her house. Her house. Her house. Her house. So, how do you say Jairo visitó a sus amigos? Jairo visited my friends. His friends. All right. Very good. So, como pueden ver, guys, esto es sujeto, verbo en pasado, complemento. Okay. Now, ¿cuál creen que es lo negativo? Didn't. El didn't. Ah, exactly. ¿Y qué pasa con el verbo? What happens with the verb? It's only simple present. Vuelve otra vez a la forma base. Right? So, structure is subject plus didn't plus per base plus complement. Okay? Very good. So, how do you say, yo no estudié inglés? Lo mismo vamos a hacer, pero en negativo. I didn't study. I didn't study. No. I didn't study. I didn't study English. English. Very good. How do you say, yo no ayudé a mi hermano? 
I didn't help my brother. My brother. I didn't help my brother. Okay. How do you say? Um, yo no maté el gusano. I didn't kill the worm. The worm. I didn't kill the worm. Very good. So how do you say? Let me see. Américo no escuchó música. Américo didn't listen, listen, listen to music. Listen to music. Very good. Jennifer no saltó la cuerda. Jennifer the rope. The rope. Jump the rope. Jump the rope. Fantastic. How do you say Edith no pintó su casa? Didn't paint or didn't paint it? Paint. 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 Su casa? Paint. Her house. Paint. Very good. Si algún día se me va un typo, guys, un typo es un error de, así, de, de, de digitar. Right? Typo. Ahí van a disculpar si algún día se me va un typo. All right. So, how do you say Jairo no visitó a sus amigos? Jairo didn't visit his friends. His friends. So, guys, as you can see, it's a matter of practice. Okay? Es cuestión de práctica. Y acordémonos, solo vamos a cambiar el verbo en afirmativo. Okay? A mí no me gusta llamarlo positivo, porque yo les puedo decir... Eh, yo lo maté, right? Y eso no es algo positivo, aunque sí es afirmativo. ¿Me entienden el punto? So, siempre yes. es, o yo le, los odio a todos. Es afirmativo, <laughs> pero no es positivo. All right? It's affirmative, but it is not positive. So, I always like to call it affirmative, negative, and question. Now, if you notice, remember, affirmative. Do we change the verb in affirmative? Cambiamos el verbo en afirmativo? Yes. I can't hear you guys. No los oigo. Cambiamos el verbo en afirmativo? Yes. Yes. Very good. Cambiamos el verbo en negativo? No. 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 Y se los adelanto. Cambiamos el verbo en pregunta? No. 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 Lo vamos a ver más adelante, pero no lo cambiamos. All right, guys. So, five minutes. I'm going to open up the breakout rooms. You got five minutes to talk about everything you did yesterday. Okay? Todo lo que hicieron ayer, o lo que hicieron ahora, para los que me dicen que tienen mala memoria, todo lo que hicieron hoy, ya sea negativo o afirmativo. Okay? Okay. All right. Accept the invite, right. please. You only got five minutes, and then we go back. Solo tenemos cinco minutos y regresamos, okay? Five minutes. Go, 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 go. So we're just missing Marta. Please accept the invite. Good job. I'm gonna send the um the link via chat for the verbs. And I'm also gonna send it via WhatsApp. I'm just loading what's up right now, just a moment. There we go. Let's go ahead and check. Hello. Hi, Cork. <laughs> Work. I worked. I worked. I, I worked uh, very hard. Good job. I worked very hard. And in 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 and I I did. I didn't. I didn't um, homework 
No, I didn't <laughs> make homework with my son. I didn't do. I, I, I didn't do homework. The homework with my the son. Homework. Yes. Okay, good. Um, Antonio, what did you do yesterday? There you go. Study English. I studied English. I studied English. Okay, very good. And the negative? I didn't. Didn't I didn't? Uh huh. Oh, I don't. I didn't. I don't is in presente. It's in present. No. I didn't study English. Okay, good. Um, I like the examples. Me gustaron los ejemplos, pero están algo contradictorios, Antonio. Estudié inglés. <laughs> <laughs> no <estudié> <laughs> I mean, it, it's good. It's good as far as the structure. Está bien con la estructura, pero me quedé como que... What? Sí o no, pues. Uh, give me another one, Antonio. <laughs> Oscar. Hi. Ah. What um, did you do yesterday? Just give me a minute. Ah. Perdón. Oscar, antes, antes que empieces, Antonio, dame dos ejemplos más, please. Give me two more examples. Um... I did in, uh, kill the hormiga. <laughs> Ant. Ant. Uh -huh. I, I didn't, didn't kill. kill the Ant. Okay, good job. No maté la hormiga. Very good. Uh -huh. Yo no la maté. Uh -huh. okay. Good job. Ahora, Oscar, your turn. Uh, I... Work hard. I worked hard. All right. Hard. I didn't study English. Oh man, come on! Good example, but study English. <laughs> good job. Good job. Study All right, guys. Continue with the examples. I'll check the other group. Okay. Continue. Um, Okay, all right. Jairo, let me hear you. Give yes. me give me a few give me a negative example, please. Um I didn't work today. Okay, good. No trabajaste hoy. That's good. And then yeah. and in affirmative. Yes. Now give me another example, another one in affirmative. I um, played uh, yesterday. Uh, la noche sería all night. Uh -huh. I played yesterday I night. Played yesterday night. ¿Qué jugaste? What did you play? Uh, soccer. All right, good. So say with me, Jairo. I played soccer yesterday night. Oh, I played I played soccer yesterday at night. Good job. Fantastic. Good job. Marta, your two examples, please. Mm, okay. Uh, I didn't mm -hmm. visit my my mother. All right. Good. I mean, mal hecho, Marta. Pero buen ejemplo. <laughs> ¿Por qué, teacher? No, mentira, mentira, mentira. Uh, ¿Por qué no, no me engañe. Porque no me engaño, por favor. No visitó, no visitó a su mamá. Eso ah. está mal hecho. Pero muy buen ejemplo, gramaticalmente. All right, negative. Um, I didn't... 
watch it TV Good. on Monday. Good. I didn't watch. Ahí queda. Sin ed. I didn't watch TV on Monday. On Monday. Uh -huh. Say it again, please. I didn't watch TV on Monday. Mm. Repeat. Uh, I didn't watch I, I TV didn't on Monday. Didn't watch TV on Monday. Good job. Good job. Good job. Americo, your two examples, please. Uh, I drink uh, coffee today. Okay, good. Solo que ese Américo es un verbo irregular porque pasa de drink con I a drunk con A. Uh, okay. Entonces, eso lo vamos a ver más adelante, pero muy buen ejemplo. La idea. Um, ¿Cómo decís no tomé café ahora? Acordate que el verbo va en base y beber es drink. No tomé café ahora. I didn't. Ajá. Drunk coffee. Drink. Today. Co I drink. Ajá. Uh -huh. I didn't drink coffee today. Démosle de nuevo. Repeat again, please. I didn't. I didn't drink coffee today. Good. Muy buena fluidez. Bien dicho. Um, negative example before I let you go. Uh, affirmative example, it will be. I, I drink coffee today. Ajá, pero ese sería, acordémonos que es irregular. Entonces, ahí les mandé la lista. How do you say, um, dime algo que, que hiciste hoy. Work. Ok, how do you say, yo trabajé hoy. Work. I work today. Good, good, good. I worked today. Ah, no, I worked. ¿Cómo no? Solo que la pronunciación, que lo vamos a ver más adelante, no te preocupes. Pero desde ya, I worked con T. I worked ah, today. ok. I worked today. Buena pronunciación. All right, guys. Let's go back to the main room. Let's go back. All right, we're going to be closing the session in a minute. All right, guys. So, good job as far as simple past. Buen trabajo acerca del simple past. Acordémonos que hay verbos regulares e irregulares. Okay? Um, consejitos, señores. No hay nada, no hay, ¿cómo les puedo decir? No hay shortcut, no hay atajo. Si nosotros queremos hablar inglés, la estructura es fácil. Sujeto, verbo, complemento, ahí muere. Pero tenemos que aprendernos el vocabulario. ¿Ok? Así que, guys, en el baño, en el seguro social, en la media, media hora de almuerzo, en donde sea, tratemos de aprendernos verbos. Verbos. Aprendémoslo en base. ¿Qué? pasado y en pasado participio que es la tercera columna, ok? Ok. All right, guys, so it's been a pleasure, ha sido un placer. Thank you very much for being a part of Inglés Corporativo Principiante 3. And remember, no classes tomorrow. Uh, enjoy, disfruten con su pareja, con sus amigos, con su con qué, con quien sea, con su mascota. Disfruten. Piores nada. Con el piores nada, ok. Y nos vemos el día lunes, all right? All right. Have a good night. Okay. Bye. Enjoy your good weekend. Night. Bye. Learn verbs. Take care.